Welcome guys, this video explains the force exerted by a jet on a flat inclined plate. Let's consider an inclined plate, on which a jet of water is impinging. Here, as the plate is assumed to be moving. Hence, three forces comes into the picture. The force along the direction, normal to the plate, force along the x direction, and force along the y direction. As the plate, is moving with a velocity u, and the water jet is impinging, with a velocity v, the relative velocity is v minus u. In general, force exerted by a jet on a plate is the rate of change of momentum, along the direction of the force. Hence, force exerted along any direction x is equal to the initial momentum of fluid, minus final momentum, divided by time. As we all know, momentum is the mass times the velocity. If you take the common terms, mass and time, out, it becomes mass flow rate. Let's start with the force along the direction n. We know the initial velocity of the jet along the direction x is v minus u. But, now we need the initial velocity along the direction n. If the plate is inclined at theta degrees, its component along the direction n is, v minus u sine theta. The water is completely deflected by the plate, and it doesn't flow along the direction n after striking the plate, so, the final velocity along the direction n, is zero. From the continuity equation, we know that, the mass flow rate is rho of v as we discussed, in this case, the velocity is v minus u. Hence, the force acting on the direction n, is rho of v minus u the whole squared, sine theta. Now, the force acting along the direction n is known. Let's move on, to the force acting on the x direction. Here, the angle between the normal, and the x direction is 90 degrees minus theta. The component of the force F, N, along the direction X is Fn cos 90 minus theta. We know that cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. Hence, the force acting on the direction X, is rho of V minus U the whole squared, sine squared theta. Then, let's move on to the, force acting on the Y direction. Similarly, the component of force F, N, along the direction Y is Fn sine 90 minus theta. We know that sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. Hence, the force acting on the direction y, is rho of v minus u the whole squared, sine theta cos theta. Okay, let's think of an example in such case. Here, the diameter of the water jet, velocity of the water jet, inclination of the plate, and the velocity of the plate, are given. We have to find, the force exerted by the jet, in the normal direction of the plate. Then, we have to find out the work done by the plate. Force exerted in the direction, normal to the plate is, rho, a, v minus u, the whole squared, sine theta. In order to calculate the work done, we have to multiply, the force exerted along the direction x, and the velocity of the plate because the plate is moving in x direction. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.